Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another gameplay and today we are going to play Crystallis in the Windows Kha'Zix in the jungle with the best builder runes playing against Carter. So this circle that you can see means that the target is isolated and such target takes more damage from Kha'Zix. So I do see such circle on the enemy champion, you know you're more likely to win on v1. W is a slow which also heals. For example now there's no circle because there are two enemies as you can see. Try to hit multiple targets with W. Well, I've been thinking about ganking early, but against Hybrid Inger, it's pretty unlikely to make a successful gank. Alright, E is a leap. The range of it is much better once you evolve the ability. I wanna evolve Q first, then E. Evolving Q grants more damage. You can use E to clear, but it's usually better to keep it around blue buff if the enemy is willing to like, invade you. So that way sometimes in an unfavorable matchup you can just get away without having to flash. Right after blue buff I'm going for Scuttler. Wait, two kills already for Kiana. Something went really wrong here. I might not have to smite this. Yeah, it seems like not. Means I can smite this. We are going to play full vitality. Q max. Well, if Akali is so behind, then I can only fight without the follow up. Okay, he's dead. He didn't get help from Kiana. Oh, that's why they were fighting. That Kiana was hoping to get another kill. First item we wanna go Ghost Blade. And we should mainly focus on farming. Ganking sometimes though, Kha'Zix without his E evolution has worse ganks. I can try just going for the mid lane, skipping this camp for now. Let's see, I have no flash. So it's still possible for her to survive. Or it's worth it. Akali. Oh. Wait. Scarlet rework is here. Now she went this side, okay. And I can clear this side too. I'm gonna test the new Scarlet rework.
Also, I recommend getting Tiamat early. It really improves your clear. And it's also good for split pushing later. We can build that after Ghost Blade or before Ghost Blade. And after that, I just built Profane Hydra, which has a really nice active enemies below 50% health take extra damage. And it's also an ultra attack reset. So right after Q, you can also press this active. Okay, and now we can evolve Q. Since it's very early in the game, I just finish Ghost Blade and then go Tiamat into Hydra. Yeah, Kiana is fed, but fortunately Kha'Zix is great against Squishies. And without bet and element of surprise, I should be able to just one-shot her later. So let's just back. Ghost Blade because Kha'Zix needs extra mobility. I'm using blue item because it offers speed and often as Kha'Zix it helps you to catch up to target and cast another Q which is essential I don't know why my Skarner is not helping me at all so yeah, I won't be able to do more for now. An ally has been Wait, slain. how? What? He just died? He disappeared, I'm pretty sure he had full health. Just a few seconds before. Alright. I'm saving Smite because I might return onto this camp. Also, if Hyber stays, I could gank him. Yeah. Come on, Scarlet, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, so... He would have been able to take that anyway, I think. At least I shut down Heimer. I would not be able to do that. Because when the enemy mid laner is fed, it potentially rotates. Then you just die. I can't just risk falling behind even more. As a team. I'm ahead myself, so I cannot throw that. We can still win this. Double max second. Also, 
if the target gets out of vision and you cast Q, your Q will be cancelled, so be careful about it. Yes, I've got the shutdown. So I'd say it's worth it, Akali. Akali didn't grant much gold being 0 5. Could push this as well. And get a plate. Or two plates. Because of that <laughs> one stack of void. Isn't that funny? Just one stack already significantly improves the turret pushing. Okay, Drake is warded, so I've got enough time to clear this side of the jungle. And then maybe try Drake. I had to wait for Smite anyway. Unless bot lane dies, then I won't be able to do this. Okay, so when ganking, make sure to ult first, so you become invisible. And... As you can see, at first... I didn't see, because I could just get closer. And when my enemy was escaping, I pressed C. So always calculate this. Are they doing Drake? When my team is behind I like to take Blue Trinket because that way I don't have to face check. Yeah, it's gonna be taken. Okay, nice. She might just combo me if I get closer. See? Yeah. Oh, she's dead. Great. Now we evolve V. And that's a huge power spike for Kha'Zix. And of course, I would let Akali take this wave. But I wanna push. So every second matters. Now what is he doing? Now he was below 50% health. So I pressed Profane Hydra. Let's force Kiana's teleport if she has it. And if not, then we just take this. Okay, out. Let's do the Scuttler. You ready? Now let's see what he does. Oh. And I died. You now maybe I could have just E onto this bush. Also after getting Akira and Assist you reset your E so I could have just casted my E but I thought if I flash I would get out of range faster, but I just ended up being in range still. Okay, cooldown boots. And I need Edge of Night. If your team is not behind, then you can go opportunity.
Okay. Oops. Worth it. You can push harder. Yeah, this game is winnable. Didn't get a reset this time because I pressed my E after getting a kill. Where was she? I'm there. No way. Dude, Heimerdinger is so stupid as a champion. At least I guessed right she was on this side. Yeah. Why didn't I just wait out? Could have approached from a different side. Oh, they actually survived. I need to step up my game. Just how much the invisibility effect helps. Five D. I want escape, but I think Kiana managed to back. Okay, this is free. Is that too? Yeah, at this point I have so much damage. Against Hyber it's probably best to take QSS. Hex Drinker is good too. An opportunity is great because it improves vitality out of combat. So when you make an engage, you can actually deal more damage. Are you kidding me? I even pressed my active and she survived. Yeah, just Kiana thinks. I probably just built towards Guardian Angel now. Could have gone for that instead of opportunity, I think. Yeah, 
Okay. I could only choose one target. It's probably after me. No. She went with. Nice one. Well, as you can see, when you play against tanks and you don't hit W, then you just lack in sustain as Kha'Zix. Then we take one Drake. to group ah there's Kiana now so okay we can just do Baron maybe I'll be fine. All right, they didn't do track. Got her. Yeah, yeah, our first Shrek. And they're on like his two Baron. Hyper is slow on mana too. Or oh, Ignite of Hate. Now you're dead. You can try. Yeah, we're coming for it. I have my smite. Make sure to save smite. Where is Kiana though? If she one shots me, we won't be able to do Baron. Now she's blocked. Okay, it's free. Great. So let's get GA. They're actually building some armor. I might have to take something that was like Serulas now. Yeah, this is the most stable late game build.
Let's go. Oh, there's Kiana, right? Come on, Kiana. No Penta, or KGG. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I also hope that you learned something about Kha'Zix. If you enjoyed, you can like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what would you like to see next. Hey, that's his plus. So yeah, Kha'Zix is really strong and really capable of carrying. You just need to go in in the right moment and delete priority targets, especially squishies, and just rely on resets. So thanks for watching and see you next time.